start, I have a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Sony Alpha A6100 – Best for Beginners In addition to taking great photos, the A6100 is one of the simplest and most powerful autofocus systems we've tested, especially in this class of camera. Selecting your subject is easy, and the camera's ability to track moving people is phenomenal. The A6100 modernizes the design by adding a touchscreen, 4K video, and a best-in-class autofocus system. The body measures in at 2.6 by 4.7 by 2.3 inches and weighs 14 ounces without a lens attached. The A6100 has a selfie-friendly flip-up touchscreen and an electronic viewfinder of average quality. First shooting tops out at 11 fps with continuous autofocus. On the video side, though there's plenty of detail, there's a lot of rolling shutter and a sizable crop when shooting 4K 30p video. The latter isn't an issue at 24p. That said, the camera's AF system can work as well for video as it does for stills. There's a lot more to like than to complain about, and the A6100 is an excellent camera for families, aspiring photographers, and even some enthusiasts. The Sony A6100 is a compact, speedy camera with strong image quality and excellent autofocus. Number 4. Panasonic Lumix GX9 – Best for Travel Panasonic's Lumix DC GX9 is a compact rangefinder-style camera that in many ways is well-suited for street and travel photographers. When it comes to design, this model is available in a black color edition, is made of a flat-body design with a tilting screen and a corner-mounted viewfinder. It also features an electronic OLED viewfinder with 2.7 million dots that sits on the top rear part of the body, while on the right you can find a 3-inch tilt-angle touchscreen with up to 1.24 million dots that'll let you have a crystal clear sight of everything you wish to record. This particular model comes with 20.3 megapixels high-resolution MOS sensor with tuned three-dimensional color control to detect hue, saturation, and brightness for optimal results. The live viewfinder comes with 2760K dots, high resolution, 80 degrees with nearly 100% color reproduction, and also this unit packs 4K technology including 4K 30 pixel video, 4K live crop, and 4K photo burst with a new light composition mode to capture perfect moments. When you combine all these features into one piece, you'll see that this device produces perfect quality images. To conclude, this is a premium camera with premium features that'll satisfy even the most demanding users, so we highly recommend you consider this product since it packs quality and performance. Number 3. Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV – Best for Stills The Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV is a new mid-range mirrorless camera aimed at photography beginners and smartphone upgraders. Olympus have introduced several major improvements since the Mark III version released in 2017. These include the same 20 megapixel micro four thirds sensor from the more expensive EM5 Mark III, much faster 15 fps continuous shooting, better continuous focusing on moving subjects, face priority and eye priority AF mode that focuses on faces in profile or looking down, a flip down LCD monitor for easier selfies, and more. The EM10 Mark IV continues to offer 4K video recording, 30p, 25p, or 24p. 121 contrast AF points, a built-in pop-up flash, and an external flash hot shoe, an electronic viewfinder with a resolution of 2.36 million dots, and a 100% frame coverage. It also features an electronic shutter with a top shutter speed of 1 16,000th of a second, an AF targeting pad function, focus peaking, an innovative color creator, live composite mode for previewing long exposures, a customizable self-timer, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, and an advanced photo mode. The Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV is a solid starter camera with support for swappable lenses, a stabilized micro four-thirds sensor, and a big lens catalog backing it up. Number 2. Canon EOS M50 Mark II – Best for the Money The Canon EOS M50 Mark II is a puzzling one. It's a feature-rich camera by itself, but most of those specs are already available on the original EOS M50, with only a few added benefits to indicate it's an updated model. 
The M15 Mark II is identical to its predecessor, both internally and externally. What's new is all software-based and could be of great significance to up-and-coming content creators. There's the added benefit of eye detect autofocus for both stills and video, and the ability to shoot vertical videos for social media platforms. Another advantage the M50 Mark II offers over the older camera is a new video recording button available on the touchscreen, and a movie self-timer that gives you between 2 to 10 seconds to prepare yourself before the camera starts to record. If you happen to have over a thousand YouTube subscribers, the M52 will also allow you to wirelessly live stream to YouTube. Like its predecessor, the EOS M50 Mark II is an excellent performer, particularly in the stills department. If you're just entering your photography journey and looking for something that's good value, you can't go wrong with this camera. It should be noted that there aren't too many native EFM lenses, although you can fit full-frame EF lenses on this camera by using a lens adapter. Number 1. Canon EOS RP – Best Full Frame Some might think that the Canon EOS R is a better mirrorless model than the EOS RP. However, the differences are minor, and in real-time performance, it's near to nothing. For the price, the Canon EOS RP is the best mirrorless camera in the company's lineup, and it's very attractive to a wide variety of users thanks to its versatile operation. The Canon EOS RP is packed with a dual-pixel CMOS AF system that makes good use of phase detect autofocus from the main sensor when combined with the standard contrast detect autofocus system. It has a whopping 4,779 focus points to deliver one of the best possible experiences, definitely one of the most sophisticated and fast AF systems in the market. For its superior image quality, the Canon EOS RP is packed with a 26.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor that goes so well with the amazing Digic 8 processing engine to deliver superior stills. It's not hard to take good photographs with the Canon EOS RP, as the lens does everything perfectly. With 4K video and a great battery life, this camera is perfect. Buying Guide Sensor Size Different mirrorless cameras come with various size sensors, and this is where things can get a little confusing. To make things simple, think of a full-frame DSLR camera as having the largest size sensor and a point-and-shoot as the smallest size sensor. Most mirrorless cameras fall somewhere in the middle, packing an APS-C sensor, which is common in consumer DSLR cameras, or a micro four-third sensor, which falls between an APS-C and a point-and-shoot. While they are the minority, there are now a few cameras that do have a full-frame sensor, and there'll probably be more to come in the future. Live View Mirrorless cameras have all been designed specifically to use the main imaging sensor to provide autofocus information and the preview of what the camera is about to shoot, just as is the case with compact cameras, rather than having this option added on later. Likewise, the lenses for mirrorless systems have been designed for the different demands that this focus acquisition method requires, making them quicker to focus than when most DSLRs try to focus in live view mode. Autofocus Almost all compact and mirrorless cameras use contrast detection autofocus. In its simplest form, this racks the lens through its range of focus distances and picks the one that delivers the highest contrast at the selected AF point. Once upon a time, this was painfully slow, but focusing algorithms and lens designs have improved substantially over the past few years, and it can now be extremely fast and accurate, but it struggles in some situations, most notably with moving subjects. That's where hybrid autofocus comes in. Video recording When it comes to video, mirrorless cameras can exceed DSLRs in a couple of ways. A mirrorless camera has more consistent autofocus performance in live view mode, Currently, only the most expensive DSLRs can shoot video in 4K, but there are some great mirrorless options from Sony with 4K recording for significantly less. As an added bonus, 4K video capability means faster processing and better overall image quality. Some mirrorless models even offer time-lapse and